Everybody Jim McDonald. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Uh, last week I was in London and I stayed at this hotel that was supposed to be haunted. They told me there's this ghost that turns on lights and TVs. I didn't think about it. Till one morning I woke up and someone or something had finished all the liquor in the minibar <laughs> and turned on the adult film channel. So I refused to pay those charges. <laughs> I flew on my new favorite airline, British Airways, and they're my favorite because on every British Airways flight, all alcohol is always free. Next month I fly from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, I booked my ticket on British Airways. <laughs> We have to change planes in Hong Kong, but I don't care. <laughs> that is eight more movies. <laughs> so I'm single, I'm dating, which is hard. For a while I went out with this girl that worked at Starbucks, but I had to break that off. And I know you shouldn't think this way, but she worked at Starbucks. <laughs> and for some reason I am just not comfortable being with any woman who makes twice as much money. Because I am broke, and when you don't have money, dating is not fun. One girlfriend told me if I bought this cologne called Obsession, she would tear the shirt right off my back. I said, look, I'm on kind of a tight shirt budget right now. Is there anything that would make you want to unbutton the shirt really quickly? And then hang it up on a hanger? Do they make obsessive compulsive? But I have learned that the key to relationships is compromise. And that is why my new girlfriend and I watch the movie Dirty Dancing together all the time. And at first I wasn't sure if I would like the movie Dirty Dancing, but after watching it with her over and over and over, now I'm not sure if I like my new girlfriend. Because I hate that movie. But luckily, we've watched it so much. Last week, the movie stopped working. And if you wonder how long it takes before a movie stops working, I found out if you put the DVD in the microwave, it's less than a minute. She also loves every show by Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. She told me he's a sir because the queen made him a knight. And now that he's a knight, if the queen's ever attacked, it's his responsibility to protect her. He is a knight. In my lifetime, the queen has knighted the following individuals. Andrew Lloyd Webber, Paul McCartney, Mick Jagger, Elton John. <laughs> if the queen's ever attacked, she's toast. <laughs> I told that joke in London, some woman came after the show and said, your act is rubbish. Look, I'm from the United States of America. My act is not rubbish. My act is garbage. <laughs> Next month, my girlfriend and I fly to Hawaii. It's always been a dream of hers. I don't know if you guys know much about American history, but she explained to me that Hawaii is where they filmed the movie Pearl Harbor. <laughs> That's her new favorite movie. <laughs> you haven't seen it, here's the plot. It's 1941 and an American nurse falls in love with two different pilots at the same time. And the acting and the dialogue and the story are so bad. <laughs> Halfway through, the Japanese attack to try and stop the movie. <laughs> And then someone, or something, put the DVD in the microwave. That's my time. Thank you very much, everybody.